Hey everybody, Leaky Meeky here. Thought I'd uh, do a little King Ranch chicken in my coffee can Dutch oven. I'll just show y'all how I'd uh, prepare it. So, what I've got in this bowl here is one can of chicken, one can cream of chicken soup condensed, one can mushrooms, a small one, and half a can of uh, diced tomatoes and green chilies. And this one happens to have roasted garlic, so that's good for me. Only half a can of that. And everything else is very well drained. You've got to have everything very well drained. And that's all mixed in here. Mixed up pretty good. Get the chicken chunks small. To that, I'm going to add a little red onion, a little roasted garlic, three things of string cheese chopped into dimes and a little bit of Colby Jack. Add the onions, add almost all of the string cheese, save a little for the top, all of the garlic, the roasted garlic that I did before, almost all of the Colby Jack that for the top top layer so it gets nice and bubbly. Gonna give that a good mix. Make sure that garlic is fully incorporated. It's too good to only have it in one spot. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this mixture into a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge and Pack up the cooler and get ready to take it out to the woods for a cooking in the coffee can Dutch oven. So, I'll see y'all when I get out there. Okay, everybody, I'm on the trail here by my house and it's about time to cook up the King Ranch. About time to get that fire going. Got my stuff set up. With the grand trunk hanging out, ultralight. Got my pit ready. A couple of wobbly pops, my shovel, chopping tools. And I thought I'd try a magnifying fire today, so we'll see if that works. I'll get it all set up, put y'all up in the tree, and try to find some sun. Okay, well, I think the sun is going to be out enough to do this, but we'll see. Got me some cedar bark here. A bit roughed up. Those fibers small. And what I like to do is find me a, a spot and make me a little flat spot so I get lots of consistent surface area. And we'll try. Sun will probably go on in the clouds. Okay, I'm going to head back over to the pit, see if it'll work. I don't lose it before I set it down. Okay, here we go. 
flame time. Chihuahua fingers. Got my cedar on there. It might just go. It's going to be close. A little more oxygen. Okay. That was pretty easy for a magnifying glass, I thought. Make sure I put the magnifying glass back in its spot. Okay. Well, mission success. Add a little more wood. Now i gonna let that build up. I'm gonna go get some oak, a little better wood, and then we'll uh, build the uh, casserole. Okay, I got the fire ripping, and it's time to assemble the casserole. Whoa! Okay. Get out the Dutch oven here. Smoke is getting my god, that never happens to anybody else, does it? The plan is to line this thing. shape it just roughly These happen to be the exact size for this big coffee can base, so it works out real well. A little cheese at the top. I got my bag of filling. That's what my plan is, is to cut off one of the corners so I can just squeeze it out. So I'm just going to squeeze some in there, like so. Since I did not bring a spoon, I'm going to use the next tortilla in the layer to to smoosh it down. Get my hands clean. Works out good. But I would rather have some sort of utensil with me. Okay, on the next layer. It's up to you to decide whatever you want to put in here. This is just chicken, mushrooms, onions, and a little tomatoes, some roasted garlic. Squeeze. Tortilla. The fire's getting me. That's alright, that happens. Make sure it gets all the way around the edges. See, 
fill up the pan nicely. seats down in there nicely. Okay, and the last layer. No, my bag popped up. All right. Last layer of filling needs to be a little thin. Oh, what a mess. pretty hot on top. Okay. Now this smaller piece slips right on here. Line the black lines up. Okay. All we need to do get the pot stand. Put coals on the bottom and on the top. Make sure they're not touching the bottom so it doesn't burn. for the fire to produce coals for us and then we'll load her up. See y'all in a little while. Okay, I believe fire has enough coals for me to get started with this procedure. Let's get some out of there. Get going. Put some on the bottom. I'm close to my house, so I'm lucky I have a shovel with me. Otherwise, it would be sticks. So I'll put some around the bottom, but not too much. Because I don't want to burn the bottom. Take my pot stand and weasel it in there real quick without burning myself. Straight everything back out. no problem. So, I'm going to go chill in the hammock for one half of one hour. Go ahead and get the stopwatch going. Half an hour, we'll see what it looks like. And then do it again for another half an hour. 
Okay, it's been pretty much right at half an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that. So when we had a full hour, I know we'll be done. And here's my friend, the Leatherman Wave, which is perfect for this application. One of the reasons I really love the Wave. It's a great, great knife. Well, that looks pretty good. A little bubbly on top. Just bring it up and have you take a look. Okay. I'm going to get the shovel. And add some more coals on the bottom. Okay, what I think I'll do is I'll take the top ones, which are still pretty hot, and just fling them on the bottom. Spread out, see how hot it is. It needs more. A little more coals in the bottom layer. hard part is getting the, the lid back on there right. And I got a line somewhere. There it is. And there's a line on the the bottom. And I'll put an egg lid in the place. Okay. Level the whole thing out. It says one might might not be too good, but I'm gonna go for it. Load up the top again. All right. Love the letter. Can do all kinds of good stuff with it. All right, I'm gonna restart the stopwatch, and I'll see you at one hour. Let's we'll see how the cow chews the cabbage. Okay, it has now been an hour and 15 seconds, and I'm a little worried because I heard some sizzling right after the half hour mark, so let's hope for the best. I decided to stick with the original hour just so I know it's right. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Okay. So, we'll take her off of there. And that's what she looks like. I only see two pieces of ash. Maybe a little cedar off my hat. And it definitely looks done and good, so I'm going to set it off to the side. Put the lid back on. It's easier said than done. Pull out the hot stand. And it looks like the fire's in good shape. Alright, looks like we did it, so I'm going to let that cool, and I'll get back to you and we'll see uh, what it looks like on the inside. Okay, the King Ranch has been cooling now for about a half an hour, so we'll see what happens. It is falling down in the pan a little bit. That's interesting. It's definitely edible temperature, and it's definitely cooked. Mm, mm, mm. So, on that note, I will bid you farewell with a couple of parting notes. First one being, love your animals, because they love you. 
And remember, peace is sexy.